Let us verify rules theorem for the function fx equal to x plus 2 whole thing cube times x minus 3 to the power 4 in the closed interval minus 2 comma 3. So we want to verify rules theorem for the function fx equal to x plus 2 whole thing cube times x minus 3 to the power 4 in the closed interval minus 2 comma 3. Now if we want to verify Rho's theorem, we need to make sure that three criteria are satisfied. The first one being f is continuous. Is this function continuous? Observe that this is a polynomial function and polynomial functions are always continuous throughout R throughout the real number f is a polynomial function so continuous in continuous in minus 2 comma 3 in fact it is continuous throughout r what about differentiability once again f is a polynomial function so it is differentiable it is differentiable it is differentiable throughout r but we don't have to show it throughout r we just need to show it in the open interval 2 comma 3 so okay we we show that f is continuous first criteria satisfied we show that f is differentiable second criteria also satisfied what about the third criteria third criteria says the value of the function at the in points your in points are minus 2 and 3 the value of the function at the in points must be equal so let us define uh, sorry let us find f of minus 2 that's equal to minus 2 plus 2 whole thing cube times minus 2 minus 3 to the power 4 that's obviously 0 what about f of plus 3 f of plus 3 equal to 3 plus 2 whole thing cube times 3 minus 3 to the power 4 that's again 0 so you see that value of the function at the in point are same f of 3 equal to f of minus 2 equal to 0 so the value of the function at the in point are same so all the three criteria are satisfied so the rules theorem is applicable rules theorem is applicable all right now we know that rules theorem is applicable so by rules theorem by there exist there exist a constant C such that F dash C is exactly equal to zero and c must lie on the open interval minus 2 comma 3 c must belong to the open interval minus 2 comma 3 let us try to determine such a constant c so we got fx equal to let's look at the function x plus 2 whole thing cube times x minus 3 to the power 4 fx equal to x plus 2 whole thing cube times x minus 3 sorry x minus 3 to the power 4 all right now what about f dash x we simply apply the product rule let's recall uv rule d dx of uv equal to u times derivative of b plus b times derivative of u u times derivative of b so x plus 2 to the power 3 
times derivative of x minus 3 to the power 4. x minus 3 to the power 4, if we differentiate, we get 4 times x minus 3 to the power 4 minus 1 plus v, v is x minus 3 to the power 4 times derivative of u, derivative of x plus 2 to the power 3 is 3 times x plus 2 to the power 3 minus 1. We take x plus 2 to the power 2 common and so does x minus 3 to the power 3 x plus 2 to the power 2 we take common and x minus 3 to the power 3 we take common. We will be left out with 4 times x plus 2 plus 3 times x minus 3. Now we want f test c equal to 0. Therefore, f test c equal to 0 if, uh, yeah, the whole expression if, uh, yes, x instead of x I should write c, c plus 2 whole thing square times c minus 3 whole thing cube times 4 times c plus 2 plus 3 times c minus 3 equal to 0. And we want such a constant in the interval minus 2 comma 3. Now we see that product of two number is equal to 0. One of them has to be 0. So c plus 2 may be 0 or c minus 3 may be 0 or this expression might be 0. Uh, 4c plus 8 plus 3c minus 9 equal to 0. 4 number of c plus 3 number of c gives us 7 number of c. Minus 1, if we take to the right hand side, we'll get plus 1. So c equal to 1 by 7. In this case, uh, we can write c equal to minus 2, c equal to 3. We want a uh, constant c that lie between minus 2 and 3. So, we reject the case my c equal to minus 2 and c equal to 3 and we choose c equal to 1 by 7. When c equal to 1 by 7 comma f test c as we have seen must be equal to 0 and and we are Satis we are finding a constant c so that f dash c equal to 0 and that c lie between minus 2 and 3 comma c is greater than minus 2 and less than 3. So we have determined a constant c so that Rose theorem is satisfied or that we have determined a constant c so that we can verify Rose theorem. So Rose theorem gets verified for the function fx equal to x plus 2 whole thing cube times x minus 3 to the power 4 in the interval minus 2 comma 3.